Not at 530. It's been more than a year and a half now, and the fight over some changes along the Sebago Lake shoreline continues. As we first told you, Raymond's town manager called the work allegedly done without a permit the most egregious violation he's ever seen. And now as CBS 13's Mal Meyer reports live in the studio, some are wondering how long this legal battle will go on, Mal. Marissa, this is what we're talking about. Two adjacent properties with one owner right on the Cape of Sebago Lake. Raymond Town officials allege trees were cleared, rocks were put in place, and more, all without any permits. And while local leaders have wanted it to be restored, the owner is firing back about what seems to be the holdup. Last summer, we went out on the water with Holly McKibben. She contacted us because she couldn't understand how so much work could be done on these Sebago Lake properties. Because I know there are robust permitting uh, rules and regulations in place. The town claimed there were no permits issued. We're working to resolve the matter with contractors and the landowner. When we talked to the town manager last August, he wanted to avoid a lengthy legal battle. I'm hoping it doesn't go to court. That would be that would be probably the best resolution. But since then, it has, and the issue is ongoing. During a meeting for the Raymond Waterways Protective Association this Saturday, the cost of the lawsuit was brought up and discussed with a town code enforcement officer, according to multiple people who were there. Town officials declined to comment, but in a news release say they've asked in court for the parties to reimburse the town for its legal fees. Donald Buto, who owns the properties, says in a statement that the town has incurred hundreds of thousands of dollars of legal fees unnecessarily, though it's unclear if that's how much has been spent. Buto adds he's offered to meet and make things right, but quote, the town, however, is seemingly more focused on punishment rather than a solution. What do you make of the fact that this site hasn't been put back to the way it was? I understand the wheels of justice and the legal system works slowly. McKibben wants to see the area restored, partially because this is a drinking water source for 17% of the state's population. We are blessed to have a resource like Sebago Lake, and I do not want to see it degraded. Raymond officials say Buto has refused to provide a plan that meets the town's requirements to restore the property. Buto says he has taken steps to address this matter and quote, I would ask the town to come to the table, sit down with me, and let's figure this out. We do know this issue of cost for these legal issues is on the mind of the area's state representative. She told us that there may be some policy changes that could address the situation, but those would need to go through the legislative process once lawmakers reconvene in January. Live in the studio, I'm Mel Meyer. Uh, fascinating issue, Mel. Thanks for the update.